Since the dawn of recorded time, the debate over pet ownership implications has raged like the red spot on Jupiter. Cat people, dog people, can't we all just get along? In many cases, no, we can't. Pet preference has become an excellent method of socially banishing someone into a tight little personality box from which escape is virtually impossible. That seems pretty stupid, doesn't it? There simply can't be any science behind that, can there? Well, you bet there is, and it's surprisingly consistent. There have been a few studies on this topic, all with similar findings, but let's have a specific look at one of the larger polls. In 2010, roughly 4,500 volunteers answered 44 questions for University of Texas researchers. The study learned that, generally speaking, dog owners are more extroverted, more likely to follow established rules, more socially and financially conservative, more socially and professionally dominant, more likely to complete tasks and aim for achievement, more likely to have both dogs and cats as pets. In the same general sense, the study determined that cat owners are more introverted, more open-minded, less interested in conforming to social expectations, more open to feelings, emotions, and new experiences, less warm, more likely to stick with only cat ownership. In addition to those things, the poll also showed that yes, single women are more likely to be cat owners, and people who own both dogs and cats have personalities that tilt more toward the dog ownership side of things. So, after seeing those lists of typical characteristics, are you nodding in agreement, or are you wondering how in the hell the researchers got things so completely wrong? There are a lot of quiet, introverted dog owners in this crazy world, and probably just as many extroverted, goal-oriented cat owners. Here's the problem with this poll, and most polls in general. Even though numerous studies may show the same basic lists of characteristics, the results are almost never unequivocal and definitive. Dog people are only 15% more extroverted than cat people. Cat people are only 11% more open than dog people. Most of the other characteristics have similar divisions. Those numbers are enough to provide clear statistics, but not enough to make ironclad statements in any direction. And it shows that there's lots of room for mixtures of personality traits. You could be an introverted, goal-oriented, imaginative stickler for the rules who loves owning dogs and still be only slightly outside the middle of the road. Some of it has to do with the owner's own biases, too. Research has shown that dog owners will attempt to choose a pet with complementary characteristics. People who view themselves as smart will want a smart dog. Extroverted people want an outgoing dog, and so on. Not only that, but pets and owners will gradually take on each other's personality traits after some time together. I'm sure you've heard the stories about a dog or a cat bringing an extremely introverted person out of his or her shell. And the opposite can happen too. Animals taken from bad situations into friendly, happy homes will usually become much happier themselves. Then there are the people who choose pets to produce a desired lifestyle. A sedentary, overweight person might bring a dog into the house to force themselves to go for walks and become more active. An extremely stressed, overwhelmed person might choose a cat to provide some calm. Neither one of those choices would match the study results, but they still happen all the time. So, if you're a pet owner, or just an animal lover, what do you think? Do you fit the mold of being a dog or a cat person? Or are you coloring outside the lines? Let me know in the comments. And while you're down there, lay a merciless beating on the like button and subscribe for more from the Wild AC channel. Thanks for watching. Who's a good boy?